Los Angeles police have arrested and charged the actor Michael Jace for the shooting death of his wife. You might know Jace best for his roles as a cop in TV series like The Shield. He also had roles in films like Forrest Gump starring Tom Hanks and State of Play starring Russell Crowe. We do have video of him being taken into custody overnight in L.A. When police got to their house late last night, they say they found April Jace shot. This is something that is related, according to the investigators, to domestic violence. A domestic dispute at the South Los Angeles home that Michael Jace shared with April Jace, his 40-year-old wife. Jace was home alone. This is last night when his wife April shows up with her two sons. Uh, both under 10, by the way, and who knows what they saw. That's a different element to this story. So they come home. Neighbors say they hear shots around 8.30. Jace reportedly calls 911 and says, I shot my wife. Uh, police coming to the scene, finding her body there, taking him into custody. Several hours later, they booked him on a homicide charge, accusing him of shooting his wife to death. He's now booked into Los Angeles jail on $1 million bond. So the big question today, who is this actor, Michael Jason? It's a face that you may very well recognize, been in lots of, of shows and movies that you've seen. Uh, let me show you a couple of them, maybe it'll refresh your recollection a little bit. He actually played Michael Jordan in the uh, movie Michael Jordan. Uh, here we see, again, making a little lefty layup in that one. Uh, also in a state of play as well, uh, ironically, playing a police officer, which is sort of a common thing. He's in a lot of these crime and justice uh, programs. The Shield. Had a long run. That's probably his biggest role was on the shield where he played uh, a police officer who, um, there he is. There you see Michael Jace, uh, one of the main characters in that show. Also episodes of Law & Order, NYPD Blue, Southland. He was in Southland as well. Again, wearing a police officer's suit. Uh, L.A. Law, uh, Boogie Nights. He was in Boogie Nights as well. And finally also had a role in Forrest Gump as well, playing uh, one of the Black Panthers, for those of you who remember that movie. And you gosh, obviously remember the movie. But this is a guy who's been around Hollywood for a long time. Let me bring in another guy who's been around Hollywood a long time, Alan Duke, joining me. Alan, great to see you. Um, fill in the details on who this guy is and, and his background and where he was in his life. Well, he was in financial distress, we do know that. Been reading through bankruptcy documents that have been filed since the last, well, March of 2011. He filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. He stated he had about a half million dollar in debt, in dollars in debt, and his acting career hasn't really been going that well lately. In 2011, he was in a B movie with Andy Dick. Uh, other than that, uh, he's not doing a lot, making about 70 or 80 thousand dollars a year, not able to pay the bills. And, uh, in fact, he's been fighting to save the home that he allegedly shot his wife in last night. Uh, now, I just got off the phone with a Los Angeles police investigator who uh, answered my question. I asked, have the police been called to the home before in South Los Angeles for domestic violence reports? Have they had any documentation of any fights between this husband and wife? And he says, no, that we, we've not had any of that that we found so far. Well, we found some documents from the 1990s when it, from his first marriage, uh, divorce papers, and you know how ugly those can be. Well, we're going through about 1,500 pages right now, and uh, we're starting to see some allegations of domestic violence in that marriage. We'll have to report on that later because it's a big file that we're going through. But we really don't know what happened. We do know he called 911. We don't know exactly what he call, told the operator, but it resulted in the police going there and arresting him. And they have children, right, this couple? Yes, two. Uh, now, he's got a son from his earlier marriage who's now a teenager, about to graduate from high school, I understand. But these are two kids. The police won't tell us exactly their names and their ages, which, of course, I don't blame them for not doing that. But we do know that they're less than 10 years old. They were in the home. The cops took them to the police station uh, while their mother was uh, dead in the house and turned them over to the Child Protective Services and uh, I understand they're now with a relative. So a very tragic situation where some children lose their mother and now their father as well because he's in jail on a million dollars bond. And again now as we look at this whole thing underlying all of it, some, obviously some financial difficulties. Um, you know, he had that role in The Shield, but that's only going to carry you so far. Is this a guy living above his means or just not having any means? Well, it's a modest house. He owned it. 
but he had a, a, a mortgage that he owed more than $400,000 on as of last year, and he had been defaulting on the payments, even the payments that were restructured under bankruptcy. And so it, it's still under threat of foreclosure by Bank of America. So uh, he had very modest means. His expenses weren't high. But living in Los Angeles with kids for seventy or eighty thousand dollars a year those residual checks come in and they get smaller and smaller every three months and uh, uh, apparently uh, there was a lot of strain there and he wasn't able to meet his obligations but we don't know if that was related to this if there was a financial argument or what uh... that led to uh... the shooting and alan you know any reaction from hollywood obviously he's worked with some really you know big-time actors uh, out there in Hollywood and been part of some very successful projects. Any reaction from anyone that he's worked with? We're, try we're, we're trying to get that. He doesn't even have an agent or representative that we're be we've been able to find. The only person we've been able to contact is his bankruptcy lawyer. Uh, he lived in South Los Angeles, not exactly in Hollywood, and he really wasn't working that much. Uh, I know some of the actors who have been in some of the the movies with him. Uh, I mentioned Andy Dick a few minutes ago. I think I'll call him and see what he thinks. But other than that, no, there's not been this outpouring of, of surprise or sympathy. Now, the fans have. Uh, fans of The Shield have certainly expressed surprise and shock by what's been going on here. I shot my wife. The words Hollywood star Michael J. said to 911 dispatchers overnight. The Shield star charged with murder, allegedly pulling the trigger in front of his children. The Los Angeles Police Department took to Twitter to get the news out. Detectives are investigating the murder of 40-year-old April Jace. 51-year-old Michael Jace was booked. They attached a news release with the details. Jace and his wife had been married for 10 years, uh, but apparently some financial problems have been making things difficult of late. Got some video of workers removing the body of April Jace from the home difficult moment and if in fact this happened right in front of the children I can't imagine what those youngsters are going through today losing their mom dad is arrested and they're both under 10 years old is what we understand let's bring back in the dream team let's talk about um, motive first let's talk about why and it's, a it's, it's an obvious allegation of domestic right. violence right. here um, and financial trouble is, is what people have been talking about but is that common? When you talk about domestic violence, I always think of, okay, who's sleeping with who, who's right. cheating on who, and that's what brings out the, the anger and the emotions to the level that ends up that way. Right. Do you think it could be money, Ashley? It, I think it definitely could that's, be money. It is usually cheating when it's, when it's a case like this where there's a shooting and it's elevated to this type of level, but the number one thing that couples fight about is money, <clears throat> and that can cause an extreme amount of stress. And so it's possible that he was already destined or predest you know, predisposed to doing acts of domestic violence. He'd done it in the past, so there's that allegation. But then this financial trouble just set him off and just caused him to just lose it and take it a step further. Yeah, Mike Brooks, house. apparently the house, perhaps in foreclosure, you're going to lose your house, you feel like you're losing your life, you're 51 years old, you've never gotten that huge, you had a great role in The Shield, but right. th it ended and, and nothing really followed that up of, of that magnitude, um, it could cause a lot of stress in the house, you know, hey, go out and get a real job. Right. You know, support your family. You want to pay the bills, go get a real job. Exactly. And we heard Alan Duke say that he was in uh, severe financial difficulties. And, and I, think, I, I think Ashley's right. When you look at things like this, it's you, I think finances are the number two cause of domestic violence, if you will, besides someone cheating on another partner. Because it creates so much stress. And as you point out, Vinny, he's 51 years old. Uh, Alan Duke says he's only making eighty thousand dollars a year with two kids in, in LA. Yeah, and you know, and, and he's still owed for over four hundred thousand dollars on his house. But it goes back to his history of domestic violence, even in his first marriage that ended divorce in nineteen ninety-seven. Yeah, Joey Jackson, um, looking forward at the case. If in fact he makes the admission that I shot her, and it's not self-defense, does this end up being another one of these cases where perhaps we're talking about? Uh, you know, some sort of insanity defense to everything that you snap at the moment. 
You know what, Vinny? I don't think so much insanity, but I think it could go to what we call mitigation, meaning explaining why he did what he did. Murder is never acceptable, but murder, of course, is a lot more horrible. All of it is horrible, but it's punishable a lot more than, say, for example, manslaughter, where it's heat of passion. He snapped because of money. He snapped because he couldn't take it. He snapped because he couldn't get another role. That would lessen it to manslaughter, which carries a less of a sentence than premeditated murder. And actually, I'm thinking about the allegations here and, and some reports um, that it was done in front of the children under the age of 10. Right, which makes it just particularly heinous. Mm -hmm. And it usually... Would they be witnesses? They would be witnesses. 10 years old, they would be able to be witnesses depending on their age. I mean, if, if we're talking a 4-year-old, there might be some issues with competency, whether or not they're competent to actually testify. I would hope that he would never put his children in that position and actually force a trial force them to actually take the stand. That's something that he can waive his right to confrontation of those witnesses and let in statements of theirs. Um, also, many states elevate the crime and actually added additional crime, such as cruelty to children, if you do an act of domestic violence or something like this in front of a child. So he could be facing potentially higher penalties and more time in custody because of committing an act of violence in front of a child.